So, I didn't really know how to sum this up because it was such an incredible trip. So we took the S5 for a proper spin run out sort of thing. I took the 1635, a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 and we drove from Reykjavik where we landed and we drove all the way around Iceland uh, in a camper van. I think we did 1,500 miles in total over the course of six days and then we sort of had a rest day on the seventh day and then flew back. The camera performed incredibly. I have basically switched over to using the S5 full time now almost. So I'm going to have to try and get some more lenses because my lenses have got to go back. The stability on this is insane. Uh, I didn't need to take a gimbal. I can just freehand it, whether that was portrait or landscape. The quick switch over to slow motion is really handy because I can shoot one thing, quickly switch, and then I'm probably shooting the next thing. 180 frames makes everything look beautiful. It's clean, I don't have to worry about it. Helping with the slow-mo is the fact that it is brilliant in low light. I can pump the ISO up without people really noticing. I was also using it for still photography as you can probably have seen my profile i've been posting a lot of stills as i learned more about the camera over the week i got more and more confident shooting with this throughout the trip and the clips you're seeing uh, my girlfriend xanthi took all the shots on the s1 which is an absolute monster of a camera she was filming all the bits and bobs of me shooting stuff putting up with me jumping out of the, the caravan just to go and shoot a road and then driving a minute to think that actually this road looks better and jumping out again. We went through weather of below minus six. Because we were stuck in a caravan, there was a lot of different things that these had to put up with. Uh, there was lots of sand going around. They kept getting wet because it was very humid out there. Uh, there was lots of water that we had to deal with, lots of wind, lots of rain, lots of ice, lots of cold. They didn't give up on us once. There was no issues in terms of it freezing. I've had cameras where it gets too cold and it shuts off. If it gets too hot, it shuts off. Um, you get gears and stuff grinding when the sand gets in them and stuff like that. It just seems like it's been a very well built camera and I'm very happy with it. And I'm very happy that Lumix sent me. Um, it, I could not wish for a better trip. I had literally the time of my life and I've shot some of my favourite stuff that I've ever shot. So thank you very much Lumix. Um, you made a dream of mine come true.